Accept greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. Here, in this video we will show you how you can customize the existing standard report, which provided by official add-ons module. The Odoo framework is very well established, all ERP features designed in separate module so the company can use module by their requirements. Each standard module having some generalized reports, each company might following the different report format based on their company or government policy. So customizing the reports is most important part for end users in Odoo. In Odoo version 8 the QWeb report engine has been used. You can design your report in XML and HTML format which is quite easy to develop and customize than the RML reports. We will customize the sale order report by report inherit concept. In very first step we will see how the standard report display, then after we will develop the custom module which will customize the existing report. So let me log in through the database and we will see the standard report format. I will go to sales order menu and will select any sale order record to print report. The very first record is selected for printing. Here is the standard report layout provided by Odeo. Now I have one format of report. We will customize existing reports based on changes mentioned on that report. Here, client need to update some header labels, instead of date ordered it should be date. Instead of salesperson it should be salesman. Instead of your reference it should be customer reference. Your reference is printed in very first in standard report but we will print in last. And in the order line column header taxes should be updated with tax. We have already developed a module for these changes. I will show you how many steps we need to follow to develop the module for the mention changes. We will check the coding and editor. We will create a module for this and name it qweb underscore so underscore v8. Here is our new customized module having init.py file and open erp.py file. The init file and open erp file are mandatory files for any module. Init file will initialize your module and all the class files you need to import in init file. If you haven't provided init then your module will not load in module list when you do update module list. Open ERP file is working like manifest file. We need to provide all the module information in this file. Like module name, who is the author, module category, description of module, author, website, and depend modules. If we are going to inherit some existing feature by custom module, then the existing feature must be loaded first when you use inherit. Here, in our case we are going to inherit the sale order report, and that report is defined in sale module. So, we need to give dependency of that module in our opnerp.py file, here we have given sale as dependent module as we are inheriting report of this module. In the data key we will list out all XML files of our module. This is our XML file we have used for our new report template. Let me open that file. In this file we override the existing template. Let me open the existing template file which is defined in standard sale module. Inheriting template is like inheriting any view record. You can use XPath feature to update information in XML template like we can use for adding, updating or replacing fields in any view. Here. In this file we will find the exact tag to update our labels. This is div tag which we need to update. Here all these header columns are defined in separate div. We cannot search specific div for update instead we will search the main parent div and we will replace it with new information. Here in xpath we will give like this. xpath till that div and our position value will be replaced as we are going to replace that div. You can use after and before as a position if you want to add something before or after this div tag. Now we will update the label for specific div which is mentioned in requirement doc. Same way, we will change label for taxes column. In standard template it is defined in theg tag. Under theg tag we have th tag for each columns. We cannot find specific th tag because there is no unique information. Instead we will replace the whole tr tag for the header part. We will provide the x path for tr tag. And we will update the tr with tax label changes. So, we are ready with our custom module. Let's install our new module from apps. My module name is qweb underscore so underscore v8. Here is the basic information which we have update in openerp file. 
after installation of module new feature will be updated in our database, so the sale order report will have new changes in report layout. Let's see by printing the sale order report. This is the latest report. All the changes has been done as mentioned in required document. Instead date ordered its date. Instead salesperson its salesman. Column header for taxes is replaced with tax. So this is how you can customize existing Q web report. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any question you can make comment or contact Serpent Consulting Services. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck.